BBC Four Kids is proud to present the Psalms. Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all its fullness. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before the Lord. For he is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Psalm 96 teaches us all about God's glory and how we should worship him. The psalm starts with telling us to sing to the Lord a new song. We are supposed to be giving praise to God all the time. And this psalm reminds us to be praising him for the new things as we learn more about how great he is. Our praise should also be sharing the good news of our salvation with everyone we can. We should be sharing what God is doing in our lives with everyone around us and how he saved us from our sins. The next section of the psalm explains why God deserves all the praise that we can give him. He is greater than all the idols of this world because he made the heavens and the earth. The psalm describes God as honorable, majestic, strong, and beautiful, which are all things that are used to often describe a king. He is the perfect king who should be praised above everything else because he created it all. Verses nine, 7 to 9 again call us to praise God and glorify him. The section repeatedly tells us to give God the glory that he deserves. He is worthy of praise from the whole earth, and everyone should want to declare his glory and strength. Verse 10 reminds the reader that God reigns over the whole earth and that he will judge the people on the earth righteously. That means he will not abuse the power that he has, but will judge fairly and justly. The psalm ends with the idea that all of creation should be joyful that God is a righteous judge and he will judge with truth. The heavens will rejoice and the earth will be glad because they have a perfect ruler and judge. Isn't that some good news worth singing about? Psalm Psalms with the Psalm Song Guy. Sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, proclaim good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among the peoples. Declare his wonders among all peoples. Think about it with Pastor Daniel. In today's psalm, we learn about praising God. Praising God is singing songs or telling others about how great and awesome and wonderful God is. We should praise God for many reasons, but today's psalm gives us two main ones that we can talk about. 
Firstly, we should praise God because he created everything there is. God made this world and everything good in it, including the beautiful sunrises or the tasty cold ice cream or all your favorite animals, all those good things in the world. Well, God made those. And he even made you and me. The Bible tells us that we are wonderfully made by God. Secondly, we should praise God because he has saved us from our sin. David says in this psalm, tell of his salvation day by day. Jesus dying on the cross for the punishment for our sins so that we can be forgiven and have eternal life. Well, that's certainly something to praise God for. And part of our praising God is singing songs to him, like maybe you do in church or maybe even at home. But the other part of praising God is telling other people about what he's done for us. This psalm says we should declare God's glory among the nations, which means we should tell everyone. So for today's Think About It, I want you to think about how you can praise God in both of those ways this next week. Find a way to sing a song of praise to God, a song that talks about how awesome and wonderful and great God is. If you're having trouble thinking of a song or you don't know how to find one, maybe ask your mom and dad and they can help you find a song to sing. And then make a plan to tell someone about how awesome God is for creating you and for saving you from your sins. Thanks for watching FFBC for Kids. Come back next week for another lesson from the Book of Psalms. We'll see you then. Bye!